Hello Fragamas, today we're going to be looking at a fragrance from the House of Rojada, part of their Haoud collection and it's going to be Aoud here. This one is a standard uh, version. They have a crystal version that will not stain your clothing but the color of the juice here you can definitely say that it will stain your clothing so you have to keep that in mind. I'm not familiar with the crystal version so I'm not sure if there's a scent profile difference there so keep that in mind I'm reviewing this one here. Now closely related to this one they have Amber Aoud. Uh, I have the Absolute Precieux version here, which I'm going to be reviewing and contrasting against the original here. But I also have a Musk Ahud that I'll be sampling and also reviewing later on. So standard Roja presentation here with a beautiful sprayer that you can control. This will definitely stain your clothing. Yeah, wonderful fragrance, pretty straightforward to understand. The first couple of times that I tried this one, actually I wasn't overly excited. I did find it to be smooth and have quality ingredients, but I wasn't overly excited about it. Now the winner for me was after wearing it multiple times and I was able to pick up the nuances that are here and giving a big personality to the core of this fragrance. This is mainly centered around rose. You're gonna get rose de may. It's gonna be deep red rose, luscious and sweet. Beyond that rosy nature of the fragrance, you're also going to get other nuances that are adding this big personality to the core rose here. You're going to get sweet spicy, you're going to get vibrant elements. You're also going to get uh, dimensionality from other uh, florals that are not overtaking the rosy core. And in the base you're going to get something that is warming up the rose, thickening it a little bit and then giving a beautiful central base to lie on. Now onto those nuances that are making this fragrance well worth it in my eyes, you're going to get spicy sweet elements that are coming from a non-sharp saffron paired with a non-gourmand cinnamon and then to add vibrancy you get a set of uh, citric rosy uh, facets that are coming from geranium Rhubarb is mentioned in the note breakdown, but I don't get rhubarb immediately when I wear this one. But I can definitely see the rhubarb effect on the rose here by way of the geranium. It just adds this slightly tart green uh, thingy feel to the rose by way of the geranium. So it hides behind the geranium and then enhances some of the facets of the rose. Now to add dimension to the rose core here, they're also using other floral elements, but they're not overtaking the rosy core. It's going to be a set of jasmine and a little bit of ylang ylang. In the base though, contrasting and adding thickness to the rosy core here, you get a set of warm, sweet, not overly sweet, but sweet vanillic ambers uh, with a beautiful smooth leather note, a dark brown leather note. And as it dries down, you're going to lose the vibrancy a little bit. It's going to be more of a darker rose and it's going to be supported with a beautiful element of something that is salty and ambergris like and paired with a little bit of labdanum like type of feel attached to the fragrance and then still with the amber and then the smooth leather attached to it. The salty amber green in the dry down is just outstanding. I have it in my hand here and after about five hours you get this central feel attached to it and it's just wonderful. So it is all these elements that are making this one really well worth it in my eyes here. It comes of smooth, warm, central and elegant at the same time. You can feel the depth and then the thickness of the rose here. Now from the name Ahud here I was expecting something that was oody or wood forward but I didn't quite get that. What I get instead is a set of sweet darker woods that I guess you can classify as oud but it's not going to remind the type of oud that is here, used here is not going to remind you of anything uh, like artisanal woods that you can get from houses like Irish Odori or Bortnikov so you have to keep that in mind. I'll uh, get more of a rounded sweet darker woods with uh, some facet that are reminiscent of labdanum. But the composition is really well done otherwise uh, rose forward here with other elements making it really beautiful and full. Now in terms of performance this one is good. I get between six and seven hours of longevity. Projection is good for the first two to three hours and after that it becomes a skin scent but a damn good skin scent sensual and sexy at that especially with that salty musky ambergris like tone with a little bit of labdanum in the background. It's just to die for. So performance is good. Now in terms of seasonality and then where you can wear it. You can wear this one all year round except for summer where you can reduce the number of sprays but this one is more of an upscale sexy dinner date type of scent for me. Our final thoughts here this one is 100 ml on the Roja website 
It retails for 595 pounds, 30 ml retails for 375. They have a 7.5 ml atomizer, discovery atomizer that you can have for 60 pounds that will last you a long time. And if you want something that is more potent, you can go for the Absolute Precieux version. The discovery uh, set, the 7.5 ml of the Absolute Precieux is 195 pounds and the 30 ml in that higher concentration is 795. So definitely expensive, but like I said, smooth blend, sensual, really well done. So I think it is well worth it, at least in my opinion. So if you've tried this one, let me know what you think of it again. Thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and take care. Bye.